this week on Carolina All Out. Mm. There it is right there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I think I'm in love with this boat right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at there. There's some beautiful colorations on them. That is going to eat good here in just a little bit. Just can't get any fresher than that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Panfish on the Lumber River. This is Carolina All Out. here on the Lumber River and we're going red breast robin fishing today and we're here with Brandon Freeman of Gators Outdoor Adventures and Guide Service. And Brandon, I'm very excited about this one. Me too, Chris, me too. I think it's gonna be a good day. So what are we gonna be doing as far as fishing wise? Um, we're, gonna do it? we're gonna start off, we, we, we're gonna see if we can uh, catch them with these uh, little beetle spins, little sliders. You know, we're gonna be throwing a 1-8 uh, Rockport Rattler head with a Charlie Brewer slider. We're gonna change up the colors a little bit. Uh -huh. I think from the looks of it, the black and chartreuse uh, is gonna be the ticket. That's awesome, and if we don't, I think I saw some crickets in there. Yes, sir, we got some crickets and we got some green worms, so <laughs> we'll, we'll go old school on them. Well, I can do old school. I tell you what, guys, we're gonna be doing all sorts of brim fishing right here on the Lumber River out of these warrior boats, and we'll tell you more about it later on. There it is. I mean, he was shallow, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. A little bit bigger. He's big enough. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, Brandon's on the board. Don't know what we got. Oh, look at that bass, oh, man. Got us a nice little bass. Hey, we know that they're in here, too. Now we got some. He's gonna go around on this side, ain't he? We hit it really hard. Let's see what we got here. What do we have? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I mean, look at this. I can bear it, you know, there's my hand getting around him. This is what you come in. He's gonna make a nice little fry. It's a bluegill. Now, we're still after the red breast robins, but we'll take them because we're going to do a little fish fry on the bank here in a little while. And the cool thing about these warrior boats is I've got a built-in live well here. So I'm just going to take and put them in right there. Hey, I'm fishing again. That was fun. It brings back so many memories of fishing as a kid. Brandon, I think I'm in love. With this boat right here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're easy to load, unload. I mean. Yeah, they're light, lighter and, than a kayak in some cases. Right, and, and you know, some of these places you can go and, and put in down beside a bridge, you know, and fish these, these rivers like this that a lot of people can't get to. Right. You know, and just slide it right into, right down the bank in the water and go fishing. There we go. A little brown. No, that's a little red breast. We got a little red breast, that's a start. Now if we can just get some bigger ones. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Carolina All Out will be right back after these messages. That's good. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt. Go fish, go wild. Agri Supply, 
more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. And by Browning Trail Cameras, faster, smaller, better. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. He's back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look that, at there. That shallow water, bro. You can't, I mean, yeah, he's, he's sitting on. right there in that shallow water. Look at that shell cracker. That's a that nice thing. shell cracker right there. Got a nice little shell cracker out the deal. Oh, yeah. We got another one. There we go. Mm. We're going old school on it. There we go. Uh oh. I knew he was in there. Nice little brown. Another little brown. Yeah, nice little blue gear. Another shell cracker. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh yeah. Nope, that ain't a big one. There you go. There you go. Yep, that's another shell cracker. I think Brandon's gonna feed us today. That was a plan, wasn't it? That's right. <laughs> you know, fishing on these little rivers like this right now, it might look like I'm just kind of holding position due to an anchor, but I don't even have an anchor on this thing. I am sitting here with this motor just, just turning at the same speed that the water's coming down the river and I'm holding position. That is so nice when you just wanna change positions real quick. You can see just right here, I need to move up a little bit. I'll just turn my dial and here I go. And I move right up into another position that I wanna be in. And now I'll back off get my position set again, and, and here we go. There, there it is, right there. They're right up in that little blue. hole there. That's a bluegill. That's a nicer fish, look at that pretty. Got some beautiful colorations on them. That is gonna eat good here in just a little bit. All right, and there's another one. <laughs> that's a goggle eye. War mouth or whatever you want to yeah, call You yeah, eat them? That's, that's good eating. They are good eating. Oh, I got one right here too. Oh yeah, nice little brown. Nice brown. Now this is lots of different names. I think they even call them red eyes, uh, goggle eyes, war mouths. It's almost like a mix between a bass and a brim, but they, uh, but they do bite readily on these rivers like that, and they eat good, so he's going right in with the rest of them. We're gonna try this again. And there we go. Looks like a good spot. Yeah, there's a little cut in right Looks there. Looks fishy. Good. Oh, that's nice red breath. Nice red breath. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what we're here for right here. Yes. Pretty red breast. Beautiful, beautiful. Really, really nice fish. Folks, this is what we after right here. This is this is a pretty fish. These fish have been around a long, long time. And I'll tell you something. This is catfish candy in a lot of your rivers and them, them catfish has uh really put a whooping on these red breasts. Um, the Lumber River is one of the few rivers left that you can catch nice quality red breasts anymore. The Lumber River is just one of the best rivers to come and do that. This is a pretty fish, really nice fish. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. See you later, buddy. As you can see, we are loaded down and we are headed to a shady bank to cook some fish that we just caught just a little bit ago here on the Lumber River. My good buddy Brandon over there did the line share of catching, but he knows this river, so that makes sense. But we're gonna find us a nice place to get up in, shade, 
kick back, have a few Pepsis, eat some fried fish and some white bread. It's gonna be a classic Carolina dinner here on the Lumber River. Let's do it. Let's try it. So you can see we're here on the riverbank here on the Lumber River, doing a little Tom Sawyer, hug fin kind of thing. Got a beautiful red breast robin that uh, Brandon caught here. So he's gonna show everybody how we do this thing to get it ready for the frying pan. All right, what we do here, we're gonna start it off and we'll scale it up real good. <laughs> we doing it the way we always done it coming up as kids. You know, they don't get no fresher than this right no, here. That's right. So taking your knife tip and just kind of using that, or you can use one of these scalers that you can buy real cheap at any of the hardware stores or... For agri supply, of course. All those scales off. Next. Cut that off there like that. All right, there's a lot of meat right here, folks. So you don't want to take all this here and think that it's going bad. So just come right there like that there and come right, right here. Right behind that fin. Right behind that fin. And so when you cut into the, there by the paintings there, you had it all where it could come loose. That's right, that's right. And it's, uh, then I'll just take the knife a little bit and just come in there and get to clean it out a little bit. And then we're gonna wash him off in the water. And, and we doing this the real way. I mean, that's how they used to do it back in the day. That fish there is always big enough or is big enough to fillet if you want them, but there's something about eating them whole that is just Well, awesome. that, that, that's the thing. You, you take this fish, you scale it like we just did, and uh, you fry this fish. Then you eat that tail. That's the best part. I Make mean, just right here. And then what you do is you're going to take, after it's cooked, you can peel this right here all the way off. You can chew that little bit there. I will. And then you can eat this thing like a sandwich. I mean, just sit right here and just pull the meat off the bones. Yep. I mean, you, you can't uh, want no better. I mean, you. This is the tenderloin of a deer right here. I mean, you, you're getting some good eating. It is true. It is true. Well, we got a few more of these or shell crackers and some bluegills like that, big ones, so we can take them, and I'll take these on up here uh, and we're... get that out of the way. And uh, we'll get started cooking here in just a minute, and we'll cut a few more of these up and, uh, and get them ready to go. Sounds good. We're getting fed, and then we're feeding the fish and the turtles, too. When you scale these things, you can just see just how pretty the meat is. I mean, this big one right here, I got him, got him scaled. I get to wash him off a little bit for you. And you can just feel how soft that meat is right there under. Now, when he's got scales on, you can't tell, but when, when you take it off, you really can see just how nice a piece of meat that is under that fish there. Carolina All Out will be right back after these messages. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Agri-Supply, more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. And by the Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sportsman event. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. All right, what we are using here is Carolina Cooker's single burner. And you can see how sturdy this thing is cast iron, made just like their pots and pans, and I've got a 15-inch Carolina cooker skillet. Now, this thing right here is huge, but it will cook a number of fish at one time. So we're going to let this heat up, and we're going to put some oil in here. And while we're doing this is heating up, we're going to turn around and get the fish salted and peppered and breaded up. We're going to put a little cornmeal in here. So now we're going to take some of these fish here. We're going to put them in the breader. 
And I kind of do mine individuals just as I'm going so they don't stick together. Um, put them in there, but as we put one in there, I just don't throw a whole bunch of them at one time. Throw one in there individually there. That's some beautiful fish here, I'm telling you what. Fresh, just can't get any fresher than that. There's a couple things you could do. We can throw a little bit of this cornmeal in there. You can see that's. You can also throw a little bit of water in there. You throw a little sprinkle of water and she goes to popping. She's right, but I have all idea that she's right there. So you see we got a fully coated, lightly coated. I guess they would call this calabash here. We're just gonna lay it in this oil right here. Now look at that. Is that not beautiful? Lay another one in there. Just a beautiful fish right there. That's that red breast. I can tell you, it's so big there. Look at that. Now we got all those fish in there at that one point there, at one time. These burners are light, easy, rugged is what we really like about them. You can throw them in the bottom of a box in the boat and pull them out and they're gonna be ready to go for you every time. And of course, what more can I say about Carolina cookers? Skillets and cast iron. We've been cooking on them for years now and they're, they just get better with age. See, we're looking at really nice golden brown. Look at that. Wow. Looking real good, there. Looking real good. We're gonna let them drain a little bit, cool off just a tad. That right there is the crown and jewel right there. You put that bass on there. Well, Brandon, I think we got a lot of fish to eat here. Yes, sir, we sure do. But I like cold fish too, so maybe if we don't eat what we here on the bank, we'll eat them uh, come down the line here. That's right. Well, let's say grace over this let's thing. Let's do here. it. Lord, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We thank you for your bounty in the field, and we ask you to make it a nourishment to our bodies, and we love and praise you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's give the folks a little idea how to eat a whole fish here. All right, we'll do that. What we'll do, I'm gonna set my plate right there. You come right here like this, mm -hmm. and you're gonna pull that out right there, just like that. All right, I'm gonna save that because I'm gonna eat that. That's that's you good. You wanna to set it right there then? No, I'm just gonna hold it because you <laughs> might eat it. <laughs> that's the truth. I just <laughs> might. I was trying my best. <laughs> and then what we'll do? It's a little. It's still a little hot. So we just took this off that. Carolina cooker there, and it's got it smoking, son. But anyway, we're gonna come there just like a piece of light bread. You're gonna bite it. And it pulls it right mm. down. Pulls it right off. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful, ain't it? Oh man, that's good too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I have this thing for these tails back here, so one of the first things I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nature's tater chip. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. You can't get no fresher than that. No, you can't. You sure can't. You fried them just right. Mm. As you can see, there's the bone right there. And that is hot. One reason why you eat bring white bread, cause it's a North Carolina and American tradition, but it also helps with the bones if you get one stuck. Man, this brings back so many memories. I appreciate this. I really do, Brandon. I appreciate you taking us out here and showing this. Uh, this fishery is cool out here in a beautiful river at that. I mean, how pretty is this here? That's right. Well, we're gonna just keep on eating here I know not everybody wants to see us sit here and eat fish, but look, you can do this too. And you can do this too with Brandon. Numbers at the bottom of the screen. You'll have a great time with him. He knows his stuff. It's an awesome thing to do with family, with your kids, or just being that adventurous person that you want to be like we are today on the Lumber River. I'm Chris Douglas signing off for Carolina All Out. And remember, our state is your next adventure. But I'm just warning everybody right now that if you fish around these river, 
You are gonna get hung up. And look at there. Yeah, I see, I gotta <laughs> fish hard. I'm gonna have to fish hard. I'm gonna have to feed all of them. <laughs> I thought you was gonna help. And we're going red breast robin fishing today and doing it with a uh, brand of room. I'm not doing it with Donald Trump. I'm doing brand new things. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> awesome. Daisy.